Hey, I'm Anna with Real Mom Homeschooling, and today I want to talk to you about another field guide. So I've already done um, a video about the Trees of North America field guide. Um, absolutely love that one. But the other one that I want to talk to you about is um, the field guides that you can get by state. And so what's really nice about this, especially for younger kids, is there's not so much that you have to look through, um, you know, because especially for the little ones, you know, they can get kind of bogged down with looking through um, something that encompasses the whole country versus just your state. And so I really like that you can get one um, that is just for your area. Um, I just think that makes it so much easier for identification uh, for tree identification. So, um, on my website, I have a whole guide and workbook, uh, for a tree unit study. So check that out. It's linked below. Um, and it's from preschool all the way up to 12th grade. Um, and so what I really like about this one in particular is the fact that they use pictures that are real pictures. So the last guide that I showed you, they're illustrations, but they're great illustrations and I've used it for a long time and just, it's a fantastic field guide. But I really do like that this one is um, actual pictures. And the other thing that I like that was my negative on the other one was they have, um, let's see if I can get it to where it doesn't shine too much. Um, but they have a picture of the bark, a close up picture. And that was kind of one of the complaints of that I had with the last one is that they didn't have that. Um, I also like how they lay it out, um, in just a really simple way of, um, of, you know, just all the different characteristics of the tree. So when my six year old, we were writing, I was, his handwriting's still not that great. So I was writing out some different facts about the trees that were in our neighborhood. And so we were compiling a list and we had taken pictures of the leaves. And so we're kind of creating our own, um, our own field guide in a sense. And so I'm going to make a future video about that for it. So keep on the lookout for that one. Um, but we were making our own field guide, but we were writing down some of the facts. And so it was nice because I was able to say like, okay, you know, how, how tall is this tree? And he could go to height and t read it off to me. And then I was writing it down on our paper. And so, um, I feel like this was really, um, easy even for a six year old to look through. Um, and I just love how, how they have not only the leaf, but then the bark and the flower and the fruit. So I feel that it's just very, um, very, very comprehensive. So, Here's another one. So I just, I think the pictures are fantastic and um, it gives you enough details. And then it also um, gives you some notes too, just kind of some interesting facts about the tree um, and just kind of some, kind of the different nuances. Um, you know, like this one was saying, um, it tends to grow like in wet areas along riverbanks and floodplains. And so sometimes it's nice having some of those details too, of just like where you might actually find it. It might not be out in a field. This might actually be by a river. And so that can help you narrow down also what tree you're looking at. Um, cause sometimes that's the hardest part is you're looking through and you're like, okay, what does this leaf look like? What does the bark look like? And sometimes when you have some of those details too, of where it might be growing, um, that can help you narrow that down. So, um, so check out this book. I, I feel like it's a really great guide, um, for anyone young and old, but especially for those young ones, it, uh, makes tree identification really, really easy. So, um, if you could give this video a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. And until we meet again next time, have an awesome day.